Hello, audio. Hello, video. Hello, people watching this video. So glad you joined us. Watch me screw this up. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's me, Snoot. I'm a community manager at Coffee Stain Studios. And today we're going to be talking all about the Spire Coast, the new biome we're adding to Satisfactory. So last week we showcased the new biome in a teaser trailer. If you haven't already seen that, you can check it out in the cards here uh, and watch it. Uh, don't worry, I'll wait. If it isn't obvious in that video, there's a significant change coming to that region of the map. Uh, at the launch of Update 5, we released this roadmap of the upcoming changes that we're making to Massage 2AB, CD, BDD, B. I can never remember the name of the planet. Uh, <laughs> we released a roadmap with the upcoming changes to the world map, moving forward to the release of 1.0, with the biggest change being the Spire Coast. If you have any factories located in this part of the map, I really recommend moving them out of there, or I mean, you could just leave them there. I don't know. I'm not your mom. Why should I care? But not only is this a big environmental change, we've also moved the existing nodes that are located in that region. And it's possible that if you load up a save file after the update, your production lines might still function despite that. But the major problem that I see is that the environment will probably have changed so much that you might not be able to access your factory buildings as they're probably going to be clipping into the environment. So while your factory might still be up and running uh, after update six, you might not be able to adjust them or maintain your production lines. There are a couple of external tools that are made and maintained by the community that you can use to move your factory if you don't want to dismantle them. So if you have a big factory uh, that you don't want to delete, there's always that option. I'll leave a couple of links in the description below for that. Even though we're making big changes to the Spire Coast in this update, it won't be completely finished. Um, most of the environmental changes will be made in time for update 6. We also plan to improve some of the gameplay elements in future updates. Specifically, we want to add more resource nodes to that area. The Spire Coast currently only hosts oil nodes, but we want to include a more diverse set of different nodes in there so you can better set up shop in that region. But we won't be able to see that in update 6, so that will come later down the line. There also won't be any power slugs coming in that region yet. However, uh, what you can expect to see are a couple of crash sites. I know a lot of people have requested ways to manage their crash sites once you've looted them, and we have plans to sort of improve on that, but we're not sure if that will make it in for this update or not. So yeah, essentially the biome won't be completely finished in update 6, but we intend to do as much as we can and then keep improving on it in future patches. However, I thought we'd take a look at the state of things as they are today and bring you all along. <laughs> but uh, bear in mind that some things are more finished than others because yeah, this biome is still a work in progress. The most predominant area in the Spire Coast is the open section of shallow water. Apart from the coral reef section of the Spire Coast, most of the water volumes here aren't too deep, so the player will be able to walk through all of these areas no problem and be able to build factories here. All Gucci, all right? <laughs> We intend to add more coral reefs to the outer edges of the biome and some of the cliffs are missing some decorations right now so they might look a bit bare. We're still working on the lighting in this region and I haven't quite settled on the color scheme yet so the atmosphere of this spire coast might change in the future. I do want to point out that the waterfalls you saw in the trailer are all placeholders and we do intend to change those to the new waterfalls we've showcased in a previous devlog at some point during development and there might also be like a floating rock here and there in the biome but that's not something we're already accustomed to, am I right? <laughs> am I right? Okay, dying inside. Speaking of waterfalls, by the way, I thought it was a bit funny that some people commented on the fact that the waterfalls don't seem realistic, which, I mean, sure, that's not wrong. I can't really hold it against people feeling that way. I just find it funny that that's where we draw the line of the game being unrealistic, right? <laughs> you know, having buildings appearing out of thin air from parts that shoot out of your body being constructed by a TV remote, you know, that's acceptable. But faucet waterfalls, that's right out. On the borders between the Spire Coast and the Dune Desert, we have this section of interesting uh, pillar pieces. A challenge that we always sort of face when making a diverse set of biomes is how to transition between the different biomes. So this area kind of mixes assets from both the Dune Desert and the Spire Coast and sort of blends them together. There's still more work to be done to the cliff sites as well between the biomes and we're hoping to get the major changes in and that includes that empty section on top of the cliffs facing the dune desert. This area has always been subject to change and we're hoping to improve this part as much as possible but it's unlikely that we'll, it will be completely finished by update 6. And again, it is not advisable to build up here. 
all right? But who am I to tell you what you can and cannot do? Follow your heart. In the portion between the Coral Valley and the Spire Coast, we've removed a large chunk of the mountain here and replaced it with this quite lush cliff range. On this side, you also have this cool arch thingy. And up here, you can get a really good look at the biome. And look, everything the light touches is your kingdom, okay? You can build whatever you want here. But what about that shadowy place down there? The Great Canyon. So stupid. I know a lot of people weren't expecting us to make changes to the Great Canyon and that the Great Canyon was rather part of the Northern Forest, but the truth is that we include the Great Canyon as being part of the Spire Coast region and there are changes coming here. The canyon is a great place to create paths for trucks and trains to travel between the Dune Desert and the Rocket Desert. So we wanted to improve this spot by giving it a bit more room for logistics. This area is far from finished though, so it might be too early to say, but if you have logistic lines already set up here, it's possible you won't be affected too much. However, we still haven't finished the desert canyons, so this area might also change quite a bit in the future because, and I quote Hannah on this, that area is butt ugly at the moment. So there's that. <laughs> so that's the state of things with the Spire Coast. I hope you're excited for this change and I hope you've got your solid biofuel all stacked up because the chainsaw is going to have to work overtime for this update. So yeah, that's going to be it for me. I hope uh, you found this information useful. I hope you've ordered a moving company for your current factory in the Spire Coast because, you know, it's a busy season. So don't dilly dally. Chop chop. Anyways, <laughs> take care everybody. Until next time. Peace.